Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structural Design. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to create a DXF file in AutoCAD for preparation of Tecla Structural Design. So friends, in many of my videos, of our videos of Civil Center, we had shown that we had imported our DXF files into Tecla Structural Designer and many of us had many of our viewers had commented how to prepare those DXF file this video is for that we already had uh, made a video on how to create grid lines in the Tecla Structural Designer software itself but it's always more comfortable that you make the DXF file in the AutoCAD and then import it into Tecla Structural Designer so Today we have a particular beam column plan that is the location of the beam and columns are already given. Now we want to prepare the DXF file and then we'll import it into Tecla Structural Design. So we'll see how to prepare the plan ready for import into Tecla. So first of all, this is uh, the plan which we have. Uh, first of all, we'll just uh, type XL that is the X line you take and uh, make sure that you have the you know O snap and this uh, snapping reference lines on in your CAD software and just we'll just use this uh, particular option to draw some center lines here from here to we'll just take the same command again repeat the same command and then escape so these two lines we had taken uh, for let's do the horizontal first so the next one there will be I have a 5 inch wall along here so let's do along this so it will be we'll type space or you can type excel enter once again and using space here to repeat command escape and then again this will be at the center space escape here we have another one space escape and let's check whether we have any other commands here no we are done with it and next one space escape and then space to repeat the excel enter command click here escape so hope we are done all the horizontal ones and now the vertical ones are remaining which will do it so we'll just do here excel enter and then al enter so we'll tick here and tick here escape and then here for here also space to repeat the command escape and the next vertical line uh, I will give this from here to here escape and then here click here escape and then as you can see here here to here escape for this one also click here to here escape click here to here escape and then again click here to here escape so we are just doing all the particular uh, creating all the center lines for all the particular walls which we want and let's uh, check whether any any particular uh, wall is remaining so uh, this, these are the 5 inch wall and these are the 10 inch walls so if we, if we can uh, check whether every, anything is remaining if anything is not remaining what we'll do is uh, as you can see anything is not remaining here what we can do is we can uh, anyway create a rectangle here we'll just take a rectangle and then uh, we'll start from here to here and then I take the you know trim command and then trim all the parts which we don't need so as you can see here so we have applied the trim command here We'll just uh, give a separate color to this rectangle so that we can identify this now we'll uh, trim anything you know beyond this which you don't want because we are preparing the file to be imported into tecla so you can delete anything outside the particular rectangle which you have created
so let's keep it up to here and this dimensions you can uh, remove them if you want because this won't be required there okay and then these things can delete them and the remaining things and trim from here to here just remove this and then this dimensions you can uh, just select them and select this select right click and then select similar delete the dimensions from here so like this you'll have delete select and delete this outside it and here also trim and then delete select and delete this so we are just here we are just good to go here so now what you can do is you can delete this particular rectangle itself and delete this so after that we have the center lines you will just go to home and then a layer properties and in the layer properties you can just create a new layer name this layer as center line and just you can just give a, give it a separate color let's go with black only and let's uh, give, give this line uh, type as dashed okay and then we'll just select this and then select this and then uh, you know give this the layer to center line so as you can see this all have become dotted lines that is all the center lines have come in the layer of this particular object so if uh, it's uh, important that you give the last check the, as you can see one of the particular center line is missing so you can just give this last check to check whether any center line is missing uh, and check each beams and columns whether you have a center line for that because you'll need to create the beams in tecla so uh, regarding the staircase part uh, you can put a cross here so that you can know there will be no particular slab in here so we'll just uh, use the uh, lay of command l a y o f -L -F, and uh, select this and uh, after that we'll just select these things delete it and i'm currently working in the zero layer and just draw a line from here to here to denote that this will be my staircase and here we won't have any particular slab so i'll just turn on the layer lay on now we are ready for import in the Tecla Structural Design software. So we'll save this, Control plus S. After saving this, what we'll do is, as you can see, this file is in uh, feet and inches. You need to convert this into mm. So I'll just open another uh, file here and then change the units, UN enter. And uh, we'll do this decimal, precision zero. Units will be our millimeters and then OK. And after that, what we'll do is, uh, we'll just uh, take a line here and make line here turn on the ortho line here of 254 that is the conversion of 10 inches so i have drawn a line of 10 inches here and as you can see this column size we just check here this column size is of 9 inches so we need to draw a line of 9 inches here so if you convert so if you convert a line here just open the calculator open it and and you'll do 9 into 25.4 and the answer will be 228.6 so we need to draw a line of 228.6 here to you know match it so uh, we'll do just go to the un enter and we'll change the precision to 0, 0.0 because we'll have to uh, you know do a decimal point here 228.6 so we'll just go to line and we'll just take a line of 228.6 and here is the line of 228.6 you can check the dimension here and we haven't, haven't defined the dimension so it's not uh, that prominent we'll just delete it and then after that uh, we, what we can do is we can import this entire drawing select this ctrl plus c go to this drawing ctrl plus v and then uh, we'll just 
place it here and then we'll select this particular drawing and then after selecting we'll just do al enter and since the this is 9 inch column now first end to this first end second end to this second end space scale objects based on ln point yes and then delete this so we are ready as you can see this has been converted into mm this is center line and this is the center line which we are having so this has been converted and we now can import this into Tecla Structural Designer. Let's see whether this works or not. You can go to Tecla Structural Designer, open a new project, define the levels, and after that you can import the DXF and then check whether this works or not. So that's all for today's video. Bye bye. And before making for the making the DXF, you need, just need to what you need to do is you just need to type DXF out, and after that you'll just convert this into dxf file so let's name this uh, dxf for thd tecla structural designer and saving it in 2000 version whatever 2000 version and you just close this then since it's dxf format it won't be saved so i'll just click on no and you can check this dxf file for tecla structural designer is ready so friends how did you find this video please let us know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do hit the subscribe and the bell, bell icon. Bye-bye.